talking now about supporting our furry friends through a plant-based cafe. Cyrus Mejia is joining us now. He's from the Best Friends Animal Society, and you've been there for 35 years. Yes, I'm one of the original co-founders of Best Friends. We moved to Kanab to start a sanctuary in 1984. And since then, it's grown, and now Best Friends is a national organization with a goal that we're about ready to reach, which is uh, stopping the killing of animals in shelters by 2025. What have you noticed over the last three decades? What's changed? You know, in the animal welfare world, a lot has changed because when we first started working to save animals, not very many people even knew that if you take a pet to the shelter because you can't keep them any longer, a good percentage of the time that animal might be have to be killed uh, because to make room for other pets uh, because there's so many being abandoned so we our goal was to do something that would st help to stop the killing help to relieve the pressure on the shelters you've done more than something you built something incredible there in Kanab including the cafe the plant-based cafe that is there as well it is called Angel Village how did that come to be well, Angel Village is the name of the building that it was in, and so it's Angel Village Cafe, where our cafeteria is. And in the early days of Best Friends, I was actually the cook. So I was making food for the other co-founders and the staff and people that were coming, not very many people at the time. And so when it got to be a real cafe with lots more meals being prepared, we actually hired somebody who knew what they were doing. But I was the original cook, and this is the cookbook, that we've just produced uh, called Kindness in the Kitchen. And that book has recipes from Angel Village Cafe. Some of them are my own original uh, recipes from way back when. And that's what we're gonna make today. It's French toast. Cyrus, why call it Kindness in the Kitchen? Well, eating plant-based is good for our health. It's good for the earth and it's certainly good for the animals. So it's the kindest thing you could do, really, in this world. In fact, right now, you're in the news business. You know that there's um, uh, problems with chickens being sick, and there's problems with eggs costing a lot of money. So this uh, French toast doesn't use eggs and doesn't use uh, cow's milk. It uses oat milk. Yeah, what did you use to put this together, Cyrus? Well, it's oat milk, Kay. a little flour, mm -hmm. uh, a little cinnamon, sugar, and salt, and two secret ingredients. Are you sharing them on Good Things You I'm Taught I'm sharing today? them right now. Okay, go. Secret ingredient, one is nutritional yeast. Interesting. Nutritional yeast is actually the same thing as regular yeast. Let me hold this up so our viewers can see what you used. Okay. It's, it's yeast, but it's been deactivated. So they heat it, it's not gonna be live, and you can't rise bread with it. Uh, but it, it has flavor. And it's something that a lot of vegan, not plant-based cooks use. You know what umami is? Yes. This has umami. Interesting. So it's adding that kind of mouth feel and, and the wonderful, what umami is, is the, it's the, I don't know, sixth flavor. It's, it's um, that sort of cheesy, meaty, satisfying But it works flavor. in French toast. How interesting. Yes. What's the second ingredient? And the second one is tahini. To out in French toast as well. I yes. didn't expect you to say that. And tahini adds some protein to it, and it also adds a good fat. A tahini is just um, sesame seeds ground up. All right, we have 30 paste. seconds left. I want to taste this. I want you to yes. dress it so we can have okay. a bite. Come over here with so me, Cyrus. So we have to do this. Okay. I put the butter on already. We're going to put some of this with the While you do that, top. tell everyone where to get the cookbook. The cookbook is available on bestfriends.org slash shop abc4.com slash gtu we will link you to the location to okay. get the cookbook also bestfriends.org um, and angel village cafe is located in Kanab, and they're on your social media and ours as well thank you so much for thank all you. you do for the animals you are in our welcome. state we so appreciate it 35 years of working hard to save those animals i'm going to take a bite as we go to break Cyrus, thank you for getting me a spoon. Thank you for getting me a perfect bite. And thank you for being on the show. We're back after this. Thank you.